spirit and pride of Boston shine through conflict. In a year when the annual South Boston St. Patrick's Day Parade was once again mired in controversy and officials were forced to shorten the route due to snow, the camaraderie and positivity that was on display at Friday's South Boston Citizens Association dinner was a much-needed reminder that Southey works best when we all work together. After more than a week of national news reports focused on the Allied War Veterans Council of South Boston's decision to exclude openly gay veterans organization outvets from participating in this year's parade and their reversal days later the events leading up to today's parade were marked with unity and pride. At the banquet Friday, Citizens Association President Tom McGrath and U.S. Republic. Steve Lynch praised Veterans Council leaders Dan McGoon and Eddie Flynn for their outstanding leadership in the face of adversity. Mayor Martin J. Walsh thanked all of the city workers who toiled through frigid conditions to clear snow and ice from the parade route, government. Charlie Baker reminded those in attendance how important Southey pride is to the city and state republic. Nick Collins remarked, any time we are challenged with a problem that's when we come together. He couldn't have been more right. Through a tumultuous couple of weeks, I've witnessed our town unify like I haven't seen in a long time. But it's not just South Boston and it's not just St. Patrick's Day. It's the spirit and pride of Boston. And though we've been criticized, we mustn't let outsiders and critics divide us. We have nothing to apologize for. We have a rich history and wonderful traditions and we must continue to fight for our community. From Dorchester and South Boston to West Roxbury and the South End, we are one city and one people. Of course, we may differ on certain issues from time to time but we all come together in pledging our unity and respect for one another. There was something very special about this year's holiday. The people of Boston once again proved its faithfulness to each other this evacuation slash st. Patrick's Day. We have more in common, than the narrow issues that divide us. Our city, state, and community leaders should march with pride today because we are all proud of you. Raymond L. Flynn is a former mayor of Boston and a former U.S. Ambassador to the Vatican.